Welcome to the 2024-2025 VEX V5 Robotics Competition and this year's game, High Stakes. High Stakes is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field by two alliances, one red and one blue, made up of two teams each. The game's primary scoring object is a plastic ring. Rings have an outer diameter of seven inches, an inner diameter of three inches, and a thickness of two inches. There are 48 rings on the field, 24 red and 24 blue. There are also five hexagonal mobile goals that can be used by either alliance. Mobile goals have a maximum diameter of 10 inches and an overall height of 14.5 inches. Points are scored by placing an alliance's rings onto one inch PVC pipes called stakes. There are 10 stakes located around the field. Five stakes that are part of the mobile goals, which can fit six rings each. Two wall stakes, which can also fit six rings each. Two alliance wall stakes, which can fit two rings each. And one high stake on top of the ladder, which can only fit one ring. Rings that are scored on stakes are worth one point for that ring's alliance. The highest ring on each stake is called the top ring and is worth two additional points. Matches begin with a 15 second autonomous period where robots operate without input from their drivers. Robots begin with one ring as a preload and must stay on their side of the autonomous line. Alliances also have the opportunity to earn an autonomous win point by completing a certain set of tasks during the autonomous period. The one minute 45 second driver control period begins once the autonomous bonus winner has been determined. In high stakes, object possession is limited to two rings and one mobile goal. However, rings that are scored on stakes do not count towards this limit. And rings can be de-scored from any neutral stake at any time. At the end of the match, robots can earn additional points by climbing the four foot tall ladder. Using the first bar of the ladder to get your robot off the ground is considered a level one climb and is worth three points. Passing the first bar gets you to a level two climb and is worth six points. Getting the entire robot above the second bar is considered a level three climb and is worth 12 points. Note that the ladder has four sides, but there are no alliance specific climbing locations. Robots may climb up any side that they want. One more thing. At any point during the match, mobile goals can be placed into the four corners of the field, which will modify the scores of both alliances. Two of them are positive corners. If a mobile goal is placed in a positive corner, all rings scored on that mobile goal will have their point values doubled. The other two are negative corners. When a mobile goal is placed into a negative corner, all rings that are scored on that mobile goal will effectively be changed to negative point values. They are now worth zero points and remove an equivalent amount of points from the Alliance's other scored rings. High stakes can also be played in robot skills challenges where one team competes against the clock and the collegiate level VEX U Robotics competition, where teams design two robots using advanced materials. Check out the game manual or talk to your REC Foundation representative for all the details. Official rules and game information for high stakes can be found at recf.org or vexrobotics.com. To register a team, find events near you, or ask a question on the official Q&A, please visit roboteventscom Best of luck and have a great 2024-2025 season. No,